Forget Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow. Forget Pirates of the Caribbean. Move away from Blackbeard, Morgan, Rackham and Bonnet. The most daring, successful and spectacular pirate success stories are all French. During the 17th century, and in particular the age of Louis XIV, French privateers achieved breathtaking naval victories and not just against soft targets. These captains were prepared to go head to head with the enemy navies and frequently came out on top. Researching scenarios to support Mad for War has introduced me to some names which may be unfamiliar, but if you want wargaming adventure, these are the boys to deliver it. French privateers sailed out of the long coast from Dunkirk in the northeast to St Jean de Luz in the Basque southwest. From ports like St Malo, Havre and La Rochelle, privateering squadrons undertook the famous Guerre de Course or War of the Chase a variation on the wolf pack strategy used by the Germans in World War II. The English lost a staggering 4,000 merchant ships during the Nine Years' War and a further 3,250 during the following War of the Spanish Succession. The French were responsible for most of this. Some of the most famous were Claude d'Amblemont, René de Guitron, Claude de Forbin, Johannes de Quasig, and of course the legendary Jean Bart. The list of spectacular actions is long. As a taster, it's worth mentioning just a few of the exploits of these swashbucklers before we take a look at one of the most unusual battles of the age. French privateers attacked the Danish troop convoys heading for England in 1689, capturing hundreds of Danish soldiers. D'Amblemont attacked and sunk a five-ship convoy in the North Sea in 1689 with four ships of his own, winning total victory. Jean Bart raided the coast of Scotland and on a famous occasion won the Battle of Doggerbank, capturing over 20 Dutch merchantmen. Quasick was so fearless and mad for war that he was temporarily removed from command for attacking a large French squadron, mistaking it for the enemy. The Dutch built much of their wealth by dominating the whaling trade. The Arctic seas between Greenland and Spitsbergen were rich in whales and during the summer, Dutch fleets swarmed across the area. In 1693, a French expedition of four ships set out to disrupt this important money-making enterprise, and having scooped up numerous ships off Danes Island, two frigates commanded by Quasig pursued some of the runners through the ice flows. They came across a fleet of 40 Dutch and Danish whalers in Bear Bay. In totally calm conditions, the two 36-gun French frigates were towed into battle by shallops. Against odds of 20 to 1 and outgunned by 4 to 1, they undertook an attack during which they fired more than 1,600 rounds and captured 14 ships. The Battle of Bear Bay is perhaps the most northerly and one of the most unusual naval victories of history. This terrain was built specifically to recreate the Battle of Bear Bay. The refight produced a result almost identical to the historical outcome. It's a challenging scenario to win and a super enjoyable war game to play. Battling against enemies, ice flows and short batteries pushes the French player to the limit. If you want to build a French privateer squadron to terrorise the English, Dutch and Hamburgers, it's quick and easy to do. This squadron is typical of the kinds used by the famous captains mentioned. These models are Art Royal miniatures from the range being released in May 2021 and are 1200 scale. You can see frigates of 26 and 36 guns, a Floyd or Flute, a pinnace of 16 guns and a galliot. The privateer tactic was to close and board, not sink the enemy. Sunken ships can't be sold for prize money. The Bear Bay scenario is part of the Nine Years War naval series being released through foreplay. The rules used are Mad for War Essentials. Details about using the rules can be found on the League of Augsburg YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and come back for some more.